Hello and welcome again to my series on the 36 channels. We come today to the channel of recognition, a cousin channel of the channel of synthesis, you know, so it's not to be forgotten what it is that we are here to recognize. We're here to recognize the way things are as a synthesis. What does synthesis mean? It means beyond the this and the that of the chatting mind. That is why, you know, waiting for emotional clarity is waiting for a moment of synthesis about what the up and down of your emotional wave reveals about what is correct for the inner demands of your spirit to expand and grow and mature in life in perfect alignment with your inherent signature. You will see that, you know, so much of what I have explained in the previous channel of synthesis the design of sensitivity, where the potential for human spirituality, human mysticism emerges, you know, how it finds its expansion through Gate 41, you know, opening up the process, the collective process, the globalizing process the process that would lead to a growing diversity, a growing acceptance and tolerance towards diversity. Very slow motion, this development of tolerance and acceptance of diversity. Now, Again, you know, the difference between the channel of recognition and the channel of synthesis is the circuit that they operate through. You know, the 41, 30, that this is not about need. You know, it is not about need. It is about the invisible force of desire. Desire that comes directly from the spirit. The spirit of the child in looking at its parents and realizing that's not how they want to live. They do not want to suffer for the things their parents suffer. When the things that they see their parents suffer is horse shit, is dry shit, is bullshit. All children are sensitive towards their parents when they are in real pain. When the shit is fresh, when the pain is real, oh, they're so sensitive. But when it's horse shit and second-hand stuff, you see, it is through these emotional channels that you can see the emotional framework through which children perceive their parents. They're not just Papa and Mama. They are representatives of civilization. They're representatives of the human spirit. Each of them, individually, they have a different way to become a hindrance for us. Not just the reasons why one of them would say no when the other one would be okay, but how they say no or how they say it's okay. The spirit. Children taking the spirit of their parents. You know, their own spirit is crushed. This is how the not-self develops, you know. And then you spend your life trying to overcome, you know, your parental shadow. I mean, the 41, 30, as part of the collective circuit group, it's a mirror of the 1858, where all this Oedipo and Electra complex and the fear of authority was coming from. Now, gate 30, you know, it is not the fear of authority, 
but it is the fear of the fates. In other words, it is not the fear of the authority of our parents or any kind of civil form of authority. It is the fear of an authority that is of another kind, of an invisible...